Uh, Mike's Daily Podcast. You know, people actually sing that little Cafe Anyway song to me now. It's been on. I've been using it for about three years. There's an interesting story behind that song. The little beat that you hear. Not this beat that you're hearing now, but the beat on the Cafe Anyway. It was actually a guy that used to be a roommate of mine. And he did this little thing. He liked to do, like, what do you call it? Beatboxing? Mike's Daily Podcast. I don't know what it is. If you make a living doing beatboxing, let's just say I have so much... Mike's Daily Podcast. No respect for you. But this is a show that's episode 1,752. How are you? That's my beatboxing. I go with the fat boy style is what I do. And that's my show today. Hey, you know what's new? A new type of job is new for me. I'll tell you about Mike's Daily Podcast in the upcoming days. But yeah, I got a new little job that I'm going to be doing. So that should be interesting. And Mike's I think that Daily the show will continue. But Podcast. like I was mentioning last show, yeah. this will probably come to you a little bit later in the day. So... But I think a lot of you listen to this show in big clumps. You binge listen, like at the end of the week. And then you hear all these all at once. And you go, oh, that's what Mike's been doing. How fascinating. And sound effects, we'll see. But it was a very interesting day yesterday. I knew changes were afoot. I knew my days were numbered. But... The, the You know what? Our lives change constantly. We're always turning into new people. There was some big speech that Matt Smith gave at the end of his tenure as Doctor Who. Where he said, we change every day. A little piece of his doors every day. Hey, you notice something that's not happening right now? Doors opening and slamming shut. That's right. Yes, I know you missed the doors. <laughs> Doing that the whole time But you know why? Because they're here already That's why Hello Mega Mash It's my I'm so happy for you No Let's not put Oh Thank you Yes Madam Rudebeg I couldn't have done it without you Thank you Look who else is here Hello dear Mike This is Valentino The banking attendant And the guy Who uh, He drove into the cafe uh, Anyway and here's today's podcast picture. Anyway. Cafe. Anyway. Where's that sound where he drives into the... <laughs> this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Thanks, Bison, for driving into Cafe Anyway. Here we are. The Basil podcast picture today. He is still recuperating from a very busy weekend. Where we went to down to Half Moon Bay and Benicia. That was the podcast picture yesterday. Was Benicia, and you know he is a boxer, and boxers look a little like pit bulls. And I, as many of you, were afraid of pit bulls before I had a boxer. In fact, I did a song called "Walking My Boxer." He's not a pit bull. But yet, that doesn't really... You don't really need to delineate the two. It's that people just have turned, unfortunately... They can turn any dog into a death machine. You just have to, you know, make sure you treat dogs correctly. Feed them well. Give them attention. They'll go nuts. Just like humans. They'll go nuts. And that's just what has... And then that makes the news. God, I hate the news. So many people... Where I work, there are these television sets that sometimes get set to network news stations because people like to watch, what's that called? Sports. Sports of different kinds. And then I see the, you know, the morning news shows and the evening news shows and I just go, that's ridiculous. It's all sensationalist crap. They talked about on, oh yeah, there was an NBC, NBC was on. One of the, cha- uh, the TVs at work yesterday, and all they all they kept talking about was Splitsville. It's Splitsville for Meghan Markle and Prince Anthony or whoever the hell it is. And it, oh, Splitsville! 
And I, I looked up uh, online, and there was nothing about a Splitsville. Just that they were moving out of some old house or whatever. Yeah, whatever. It just, it's not even news. Who cares? It is bad. I will say, though, what is even worse is these talk show hosts that I hear a lot on the radio. Let's say conservative-leaning stations. Screaming the cheater, cheater thing. After an election And I heard liberals do that too The liberal candidate The democrat candidate in Georgia did that Screaming Cheater cheater And that's just wrong after an election You concede And you move on But you don't go Oh it's all rigged Because you remember who did that Who was threatening to do that When he thought he was going to be losing the election He said I will tell you at the time I will keep you in suspense Oh, there I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. Remember he said that during the debate? So it, it's wrong. It's so wrong. Well, I could use that right now. Wrong. There we go. Yeah, because uh, who's people yelling shenanigans? What kind of democracy are we going to have? We have no faith in the system. And I understand stuff goes, you know, you got to be suspicious of things. But they've done study after study and... The voting fraud stuff that Trump was trying to find didn't exist. I don't know. I just, I get the cheater, cheater thing. I, I heard so much of it last week and the week before. That's just so dangerous. Hey, here's a good idea in the wake of all the disasters we've been having in California. By the way, they finally have contained the campfire. And that is, it's taken weeks last week a week ago we were still choking on the horrible air in california it was like we were smoking a pack a day here you could see it i could look across the parking lot and not see the end of the parking lot it was so thick and awful and unfortunately places like uh china was it tokyo that gets the bad air or hong kong but Tokyo's in Japan I know But the, yeah It's just bad And when now it, The rain came Wednesday night A week ago And by Thanksgiving We had this beautiful Clean air It just took a nice Rainstorm And it cleaned it out And then with all the rain It helped them A week later Contain the campfire But it's a good idea To take pictures Of your important documents At home You may have them saved In a nice file But take your phone out Take pictures of it, save it, upload it to a cloud somewhere. And in case your phone burns, your your house burns, your apartment burns, whatever. If it all goes away, you'll still have it somewhere. Hopefully the server that's got the cloud that's holding your stuff doesn't burn as well. But yes. And finally, as we go outside a cafe anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. The Ministry of Time is on Netflix. And I am really enjoying the show. I've talked about it before. It's spoken completely in Spanish because it's made in Spain. And it falls mainly on the plane. And it's a, it's a show about how Spain apparently has all these doors that go underground. They've got this building and it sits on this hole. And down these steps, the spiral staircase... And there are all these doors that just look like old doors, old wooden doors. And they'll open up a door, walk through a passageway, and bam, they're in 1935. But they're in Spain. It always has to be in Spain that they appear. And it's a a neat, fanciful science fiction show. They did a show, though, about the war in the Philippines, where Spain finally gave the Philippines over to America. And how there were some soldiers from Spain that were holding out in the last days. They thought they didn't get uh, information. It's all about information these days and in those days. And people die when the information doesn't get through. And apparently these guys hold up in a, in a refuge, in a fort, which is actually they made out of a church. And they keep anybody who's trying to give them news... Or a newspaper They would shoot at So these guys are dying of disease That are prevalent Diseases that are prevalent in, Phil- in the Philippines And they're shooting each other 
And it's just horrible. These guys, these soldiers that were holding out completely cut off from information because partly because they didn't want the information. They didn't trust anyone. So it was fascinating. A comedy of errors. And they talked all about it on the Ministry of Time. It was fascinating. I didn't even know about that piece of history of the Philippines and Spain. So I've been learning a lot about that. It's called El Ministerio del Tiempo. Tiempo. Not tempo. Which I have really no tempo. I've lost the tempo of this show. But hey, maybe next show we'll pick it up. So, I hope you enjoyed today's show. To sum up, there you go. No door slamming, except for when we went outside. No gene-edited babies, as far as I know. But hey, those babies don't have HIV. But what the hell's going to happen next? The gene-edited babies. Was it in China? Oh, that's an interesting thing. Now we're all into... What was that Ethan Hawke movie? Galic... Was it Galaga? No, that's the video game that we played. The crazy spaceships and put too many quarters in that machine. Um, Gal... Galax... It's on the tip of my tongue. Anywho... That's an interesting story. I don't know if you caught that yesterday. About the gene-edited babies. So, what does this mean? Tall babies? Does this mean we're going to have babies all with blonde hair? It's scary. That's, I mean, yes, we should focus on babies that are healthy, that don't have diseases, but that's crazy. All right, so that's the end of the show. Uh, well, think about that stuff, because that's important. Next show, it's going to be, let's see, Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Foreman, John Deere the Engineer. 336MM Daily is the number to call if you would like to reach me here at Cafe Anyway. And I'll tell you what the podcast picture is in just a second. Take it away, Ariel. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. The podcast picture is of me and my lovely lady friend after a wonderful meal during my birthday weekend. And oh, even though actually that restaurant, we like the restaurant, but unfortunately their dinner menu sucks. Their breakfast menu is awesome, but somehow they didn't stick the landing with the dinner menu. So yes, you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. That restaurant is in Benicia somewhere. And Ethan Hawke movies. Let's see. He did, it was called Gattaca. Ugh.